Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're still doing some cleanup here just because... Um, just because... Ah, oh, crap. These guys are gonna knock me down. If I can't get up here very quickly. Oh, that actually kind of worked out. Okay. Oh, here we go. They're not losing me. <laughs> They're right on top of me. Oh, crap. Ugh. Seriously. Maybe? Yeah, that did it. Okay, where did we end up? After all of that, where did we end up? Not what I not not where I wanted to end up. Well, I wanted to head back up this way, but that that's okay. Let's let's see what uh, this viewpoint unlocks for us. <sighs> Maybe pick up a few treasures. I really want to get some codex pages uh, because here's the thing: life isn't gonna get isn't gonna get easier for us as the plot line goes on. That's not the way life in this game works. Uh, Enzio. Why, man, why? Most entertaining. Okay, let's just do it this way. This is not a good start to a video. At all. We'll go this way. Fine, back towards our goal. So these videos are not going to be filled with a lot of... Uh, great exposition or things like that but the thing about that is uh, you know there's a lot to pick up in Florence and not that not that necessarily we have to get everything right now I just kind of want to I just kind of want to no that's oh, seriously Was that the hey you're about to desync thing? Oh, now I see what that's for. Okay. Got it. Okay, well, a treasure chest is something. It took us four minutes to make progress in this, though. I actually looked at images of where uh, where glyphs are, so we should be in good shape. Oh, this is not how you use things in this game. That's right. That's how you use things. Okay. Now, are we actually right below the viewpoint? We are. Okay, so now we're making reasonable progress. Now we're kind of on track. Kind of. Now, don't get me wrong, a synchronized viewpoint just means more trouble for us. A 
I, I shouldn't say more trouble. I should say more things to do. So, where's that codex page that's in our area here? Right over there. So let's set a marker on that and see if we can get it. I'm not hopeful. But our hidden blade is equipped. So with our hidden blade, we can... Alright, it's directly this way. Okay. The short supply of wheat from this year's harvest has pushed the price up six florins per hundred. Across that. And the Arno has again flooded near Castel San Francisco. Uh, it's going to be across the street. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. So, uh, since this is like a cleanup video thing. Okay, over there. Alright, is there a good way to... I don't know if there's a good way to anything over there. I can come up from the other side, it looks like. Which is fine with me. Let's go down. I could probably just run around, actually. To tell you the honest truth, I could probably just run around there and just stab a dude. And then get out of dodge. Probably good enough here. Okay, so is it right below me? They're right below me. Great. We're going to do this the way I did it before. There's my guy. That's my Huckleberry right there. He's here. Yeah! See, that's the strong guy right there. Perfect. There we go! Codex page acquired! Perfect! Perfect! Exactly what I wanted! That guy, uh, the... The super armored guy is... He's extra strong, though. He's faster. He's, he's like, uh... City Soldier Mach 2... Mark 2 or something. Yeah, so... We don't want to go head-to-head -head with him with just, like, a sword or something, but if we could just drop behind him and and hitman to him, then we're fine. We're absolutely fine. So now what we need to do, because we've just lost our codex page marker, where are we? We can head back up to that viewpoint, but where is... Leonardo's house is like here, right? Can he can he do something with this thing for us? Because I don't know. Like that's my big problem with all of this. Like I don't know what to do with these codex pages because in my practice file I got them um, later in the plot line. So let's see if we can get you know interesting, cool new stuff like better weapons or something like that. There's another one of these that we can like stealth assassin. <laughs> Says vertical sandwich naming every game about killing people in secret. Yeah! Love that. I mean, I'd also like to get some more, uh, well, I, I'd like to get everything, really, but, because it's good, at, the game's tracking these things. I don't know that I need to get, like, every treasure chest everywhere in, to, to get 100%. In fact, I'm sure I don't. <laughs> like, well, no, I, I'm not sure I don't. I'm not... I, my feeling is that I don't. Yeah. 
But I know that there are some money issues later, like things that you need money to kind of level up and stuff like that. At some point, there's, you know, money's just good to have in a game like this. Okay, we're making steady progress towards Leonardo da Vinci's house. And here's a guy. Why can't I attack this guy? There we go. Oh, and I went down with him. Bad deal. I gotta come up right where that other guy is, too. I am. There he is. He won't escape. Faster. We're losing him. Yeah, you guys know you're not that threatening, right? There you go. Now you have died. And there's also a phalanx of soldiers after me, but and I'm going the wrong direction, but whatever. Oh, there actually isn't a phalanx of soldiers after me. I'm pretty much in the clear. Oh, but I'm over by my house. That's why they're all crazy. Is because my house is right there. Well, that kind of makes sense. And I thought I heard the shining noise for... Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I've got to remove my marker because it looks like there's a guy under there. Is there a guy under there? Am I going to have to kill a city soldier to get in here? Probably not. Seems pretty far away. Okay, so I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quattrini. I've never smoked shoddy merchandise. Okay, well this is Da Vinci's house. I just can't get in yet. Oh, we're we're doing this at a later date, apparently. Okay, well that's that's fine. That's 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 cool to know, I guess. So Da Vinci won't associate with us at this point in the game. And we can't update things. At least not yet. These codex pages will help you later. But we should be, because we're at Da Vinci's house, we should be really close to the next viewpoint to unlock more of the map. So I didn't have to worry about codex pages quite yet. And we're not close. We're not close at all. Oh, in fact, there's still an area of this town we can't go into. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I mean, I guess. Did I go back up and get the feathers that are up here? I don't remember. But I, I should try it right now, because if I don't... I mean, I just have I have good uh, guard placement right now to do it. And wait a minute, is there a glyph on here or something? You think there almost has to be. This this landmark is so 
decidedly obvious. Go up. Go up. There you go. Now you can get over. Okay, so we've learned in this video that we can't go to Leonardo da Vinci's house. We can't... Some other things. What, what other things can't we do? No, there were no other things we learned we can't do. Oh, yeah, we can't go out to the other side of the map. Okay, there's our feather. This time we didn't die. So many things to fall off of. Okay. There we go. Tuh! I seriously just die. This game. Okay, well, where do I resync? It doesn't matter. They, I think they let us keep the feathers. We could check. Resyncing at street level while notorious is kind of a pain. It looks like we resynced though. This is not what I'm looking for. Database? No. Options? It is options. My overall stats. 11.97 synchronization. Navigation? No, I don't care about that. There's no Chichia game. General? No. Inventory? No. Here we go. It's in the DNA. Yeah, see, treasures, 35 of 330. So th these are tracked in the DNA. Feathers, 8 of 10. So we did get to keep the feather. There we go. I mean, I should have known. It dropped us, like, right here. These treasure chests must be guarded. They are. Time to do this little trick again. If we can manage it. <laughs> Perfect. That was like the perfect set of stealth, stealth kills. That was so good. Hidden Blade is so powerful. And I'm just doing this for numbers. I mean, like, those were not even special treasure chests. This is literally just like a burglary submission. This is the equivalent of ri robbing houses for weapons in San Andreas. That's, that, that's what that was. Well, I, I shouldn't say. Yeah, wait. Is that is that an apt analogy? Probably not, because you don't even have to do that for 100% completion. And I don't know if you have to collect all the treasure chests. I mean, if we can buy maps that show us where they are, that's not a huge deal. I think the feathers are going to be a bigger deal for us. Because they're so... Even when you run... Most of the times that you see them, you're in situations where it's not convenient to grab them. Okay, if I can get to I get to that church, that church is the hub from which I need to kind of move, I think. Toward that viewpoint, this area of the map, this is our next objective.
Okay, there's our house again. It's gonna be people all over the place near it. We don't want that. Not that drawing attention to ourselves is the worst thing in the world, it's just a pain. It just causes me to have to kill people I don't want to have to deal with. Okay. So now it looks like we're back up by Da Vinci's house. And if that's the truth... We should try to get across that wall in front of us and see what the world up there looks like. We cannot. It's an unavailable area. I see. So we were kind of running around in the only area we could deal with. Well, that's interesting. So this is like the legitimate middle of our world right now, or the edge of our world right now, I should say. It's not the middle. So it opens up here. You know, don't call me things in Italian. Okay. Since we're right on top of this one, it's almost got to be inside somewhere. Oh. Yep. This is this is a this is a kill guys to get at one. Hmm. I don't know if I'm game for that or not. And it's not hard. I suppose uh, we should just in case it gets harder later. As things sometimes do. Okay, I got, I got the tough guy. Too many guys. I'm only visiting. I don't know what's going on. Don't get away. Don't get away. Fresh got leech. Who requires bleed? And I ran into the unknown. He'll be in range of the archers up ahead. Ah, crap. Are you kidding me? I just need a place to start a run. There we go. How long can you keep running, eh? <sighs> Why climb? I hate that you default to that wall there. Or a wall anywhere, really. Hey, guy. Okay, here come the rest of them. Just top locking onto that guy. Oh, that was horrible. This was really a bad move. I can't blend when there's a guy waiting to slash me with a sword, apparently. Oh, but all of you people just, just go away. Oh, there's so many of them, and I'm way out of my league as far as areas to... Gonna make him climb that. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Enzio, seri seriously, get out! Get down! Get down, man! Ugh. Okay, did all that actually work? Okay! 
When we come back, less panicky stuff. Bye, everybody.